Hi Pisces, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Pisces sun, moon, or rising, and as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Pisces and the message could be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you in your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings and if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there and that way you'll always get an email notification every time uh, my availability opens up. <laughs> and as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you've supported the channel. And let's dive in. So that's the first one that popped out. We have safe and happy travel protection from harm when journeying. So some of you guys could be traveling over the next week or so, but then we also have Dragonfly 36. You bring light to this world. Yeah, I feel like you guys are gonna be kind of doing some light working work, if that makes sense. It could be something where you're, it could either be short or long distance travel where you're going somewhere or you're doing something. Maybe connected to light working. Um, <laughs> I did not set this up well. I wasn't preparing for two cards when that happens. I'm like, shoot. Okay. Um, some of you guys might see butterfly or dragonflies, and that might be a little bit synchronistic for you. So that could be a combination there. All right, goodness freaking gracious. Let's dive into the cards. Let's see what's going on here. Pisces. Ooh, the hermit, okay. I feel as though, okay, contemplation, inner guidance, soul searching. I feel as though you could be doing some inner guidance, like trying to get in touch with yourself on how you feel about some type of travel or some type of relocation, you know, the dragonfly also is a lot of like movement or taking flight. So you might be doing that quite a bit this week, Pisces. And look at that, there's the maiden of wands. Benevolent, progressive, awareness, direct, enthusiastic. Well, this is good because I actually feel as though, okay, there could be someone here that you are interacting with either like a friend, possible lover, whoever it is, I feel like you are doing a lot of introspection about this person. And it could be someone that is very like fiery, very um, male or female, don't get caught up on the gender, but I feel as though you might be doing a lot of like deep thinking about a particular person and you may be at a distance from them, that's possible. I don't know if this person's coming in and making some type of an offer to you because I know that you guys got a card about an offer last week. So let's see if this is kind of a continuation on from that. Let's see. Okay, well, I like that card. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Anima Mundi. Accept all, reject none, no separation. I know that might seem horrible that I wrote on the cards, but apparently it felt right to me at the time. So we have someone that's coming in to mirror something unseen for you, actually. Um, I also wonder too, Pisces, if this person is mirroring you or... Um, cause we also have arrows. This is like de desire, eroticism, sensuality. Here's what I'm going to say. Cause desire, I do feel like for some of you guys, this could be a new romantic interest. Okay. And maybe I'll post that video at the end of this one. I made a, a reading a long time ago about if you're sexually attracted to someone, like what it could mean and what desire means like chemically what it activates within you so pisces i wonder if um 
Someone could be making you an offer and you're... It's something about desire. They could be trying to activate that within you. Look, Ace of Pentacles is the first one that popped out. Yeah, I feel like you guys have some type of new door that you're going to be opening or some type of new thing that you're going to be going towards. Page of Swords. Okay. Whew. Page of Swords is a gathering of information. So I feel like, honestly, the way that this is popping out a little bit. So we have the Page of Wands again, right there. This is some type of new interaction. Okay. Straight up. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Page of Wands. I feel like you or the other person, there's going to be a gathering of information. Like this person is either gathering information about you or vice versa. You two are researching one another. Like, and both of you are doing it. <laughs> yeah, there's the hermit again. But this is like, both of you, since the hermit came out twice, this is definitely a two-person thing. Um, both of you are doing a lot of soul searching about this connection, like trying to figure out because definitely someone here, Pisces, I don't even know if you totally know it because with the moon, there could be definitely some things hidden, but I wonder also if this person, like they are looking to mirror you because this, and I wouldn't normally do this. The temperance is out next feeling emotionally balanced. Um, I feel as though there's a difference between you and this other person. Like in general, there could be something here that you are desiring in your life. If it's nothing connected to sexuality or sensuality or anything like that, or eroticism, it could just be that you are deep in contemplation while you are starting some new passionate thing. This new thing that you are starting up um, I feel as though it's like, it's going to open a new door for you. Cause I've been saying a lot lately, when you dive into a passion, it starts alchemizing you and it starts opening up portals and opening up pathways for you before you even realize it. So that's why I wonder if you know, you might have some unexpected travel come up over this next week where all of a sudden you're like, Whoa, this kind of comes out out of nowhere and you'll be protected while you do that. Um, cause I kind of been getting a little bit of like a spontaneous or, you know, it kind of comes out of nowhere. But like I was saying, when it comes to the other person, I think, oh, well, look how hilarious. I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. <laughs> Unexpected travel. That's hilarious. Um, there could be something comes up with the tower and then all of a sudden you are like, like moving, moving forward. It's pretty quickly. And do you know what I can see too? Okay. There's definitely someone in this environment or whatever is going on here in this situation between you and another person that's activating something. It's going to come like it's going to bring some type of forward success for you. All of a sudden you're going to get a victory. But do you know what I almost read from this is that um, there's a new opportunity that's opening up here. Okay, I can see here that you are deep, 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 deep in contemplation about it. And so is another person. I feel like if you could have attracted or if you are, if someone new is coming in Pisces, I feel like it's almost like they say something very quickly because there could be a form of desire about you that, and it doesn't have to just be romantic. There, there could just be a person that is desiring something about you, your energy, your frequency, because there could be like either something about you I almost feel as though you're a light worker and you got pulled into some type of situation previously before this ace of pentacles while you've been in this hermit mode like deep in contemplation maybe even a bit isolated in your own little hermit energy the way the Pisces do you have maybe like there's a person coming in to suction cup you out of a situation because you could be meant to do be doing some light working like 
influencing or just rising out of your current situation which is what the chariot tells me like there's going to be some forward movement but i can see that someone here coming in very quickly i can see that they almost like say something um maybe without thinking because it's in the moment of them feeling some type of emotions it could be some attraction whatever it is they they kind of like after after an interaction with you they're deep in contemplation about it <laughs> like they're like whoa whoa and i can see here that when you come into some type of emotional balance over the next week it's going to activate someone else in your environment maybe in your home or someone that you've been entangled with like somewhere else in your environment and you might see them pop up which could be connected to the tower like all of a sudden when you come to some type of making peace in a situation it's gonna like cause some type of a like shocking thing elsewhere like someone pops up or someone has an emotional reaction to your emotional balance because you're not being affected by it. like you're just in this really calm hermit and temperance energy i love that like you're very major arcana ish this week and that's why you're moving forward success successfully because this is almost some form of self mastery that you're accomplishing over this next week which is why any type of environment that you had been encompassed in you're not a vibrational match to it any longer so there's this transition that's happening which is kind of showing me why like that other stuff is opening up it could involve you doing either some short travel right now because you're making plans in some way so i can see that well interesting that that came out that's the light giver ten of pentacles portal for the light giver yeah you as being a light um being a what is it called being a light giver being a what is it called what did i say i can't remember <laughs> The word is gone. You have some light working, light worker. That's what it freaking is. Yeah, you you are opening up some portals. Look at this. And you've also got a 10 here, completion portal for time traveler. And then we have light magic. Yeah, this week, Pisces might feel a little bit magical. Things will open up. You're doing not only like physical travel, but it might be some interesting time traveling where you're seeing some situations show up um that are like weirdly connected to your past like you won't be a, seeing a separation there will be some weirdly magical things that happen over the next week that are going to make you feel like you're time traveling in a way shifting back through different timelines i hope that makes sense but pisces i will dive into the extended we'll see whatever else wants to come out if you guys want to join me over there of course feel free go down below click on the vimeo link and i'll see it over there but pisces if this is where we leave things i'm sending you guys so much love wishing you all the very best and i'll see you in your next reading take care